But let's not wait any longer. Our first group for today is the Pātea Māori Club with their hit song written by the late, great Moi Pe Whairangi and Dalvanius Prime. It topped the charts in March 1984. Here they are with Poye! Yeah. Party on Māori Club live here on the Good Morning Celebration of Māori Language Week, our Rafa Kangaho. And joining us now are Sid and Puhi Kahu. Tēnā kōrua. Tēnā koe. 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 Poe was composed almost 20 odd years ago, and it's still a hit. 84. 84, 1984. It, it still brings shivers, I have to say, mm. to my spine. And everyone was singing along. It's just, it's one of those, I mean, it's sort of such a big part of our recent history, isn't mm. it? I agree, I agree. Uh, tell, tell us, what's, what it's it like, what's it like singing it now? 
I think every every time it's performed, it's, it's something really special. Mm. Uh, it's something we'll always uh, remember and hopefully pass down to the, mm. the next generation. Mm. Because now there are how many generations in the Pātea Māori Club? There are still some who there's were the originals. Like the one who did the break dancing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going yeah. all the way down. So from what age to what age? Oh, we got them back home from about... Uh, there's another group of young people yes. from, along there, from about 13 to 20. Yeah. They're not here. There's only about two or three of them yeah. that are here. So it's, it's grown right through. Now, Puhi, you were part of the original Hui. group. Hui. Hui. You were part of the original group. Yes. That um, in 94. What was that like in your life, suddenly becoming a pop star, I, really? It was, I don't think I, I sort of envisaged <laughs> this was going to happen, sort of thing. It was just something mm. we enjoyed doing as, as a family growing up in Pātea, mm. you know, because we're, everyone sort of worked together, sort of thing. And I don't think we had the vision like Dal had the vision mm. that I this see. was going to be, that this is going to be ongoing, generations, generations. But, but what happened when it did hit? How did the, you know, what was it like? I mean, were you thinking Hollywood? Were you thinking age? Oh, no, I don't know. I think we're just... thinking how we're going to pay our bills. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of money. Ah. Because Poi yeah. isn't just famous here in New Zealand. You've taken mm, it I mean. around the world. Uh, they say the year afterwards, in about 85, the uh, Māori Battalion were having a reunion in, in Germany. And uh, the guys that came back from that reunion said they were out in the streets in Berlin, West Berlin, and they see these German kids in, in their earphones playing Poi And the first time they'd heard it was in Germany. Wow. When they said, they said, this is Māori. <laughs> and they found it was poor, yeah, yeah. Is it something you'd like to repeat? Is that sort of a goal of the club, another top ten uh, hit? Oh, I, 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 oh, not that one in particular, because I, I, I think it sort of moves on. But I mean another and, song. Yeah, I mean, yes, yes, the, yes. In you know, is that way. something you're always working on? Unfortunately, we've got to find another Ngoi Ngoi Pehoi and we've got to find another Del They're Absolutely. here. <laughs> They're here. It's just a matter of them coming forward. Mm. That's right. Because the I'm... amazing thing about this is that uh, we have a combination here in all our songs, most of our songs, mm. where they're all written by Ngati Furo. Mm. And that's Ngoi Ngoi Pehoi mm. The music put in by Taranaki, by Dao. Right. So when you get a combination of the two, mm. and this is why we have a very close affinity with Tokomaru Bay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic between Tuku Vatava and us. Let's talk about Te Reo, because uh, I presume everyone, does everyone speak Te Reo in the Pate Amari Club? Would you say? Oh. <laughs> 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 that was a cult. Some of them. Huh? Some, some, but, is it some, but how important is it? Do you try and use the language as much as you can in oh, rehearsals very, and things very, like very that? Very much so. And uh, They told me uh, Tipan is from uh, Taranaki, is that right? Tipan is. <laughs> Tipan is, Stephen is from yeah. Taranaki. Right. We have our peculiarity, Stephen, back home in, Tipan are back home in Taranaki. Well, we had no Fs and no Hs. <laughs> and you'll hear it in the songs we sing, so right. that's something for you to pick up. So when you speak in Māori, they'll say, that guy's from Taranaki. <laughs> so instead, no instead, of, no instead of saying whakarongo, you're going to say wakarongo. Wakarongo. Yeah. Instead of whakatāne, wakatāne. Cool. <laughs> Just to add to that ever-growing <laughs> list of <laughs> <laughs> Still a hairimai, hairimai. But when you say wakatani, the, the problem is that people would think you weren't respect. You know, generally people would think you weren't respecting the language, wouldn't they? Because oh, it no, would no, be no, Māori, Māori know their the the different Yes, yeah, yeah, the Mita, they can tell which region. We have two way where, where they don't have their G's, G's. they don't pronounce yep. the G's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't pronounce, you know, they got mm -hmm. K's. That's right, and mm -hmm. some say pōhiri, some say pōhiri. Yeah, 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 we all respect Chica. each other's. Mm -hmm. How important is the singing and this group, do you think, to the young people in Pātea? Like, what does it do for them? This is, this is the aftermath of the closure of the Freezing Works, mm. our main organisation. Uh, that was back in what year was, was the closing of the Freezing Works? 82. 82? Yes. Yeah. 82. Can't yeah. believe it's that long uh, and, and, Yeah, yeah, and so we had nothing to do. And, and uh, economically, mm. the town just went down. People moved out, and then the breakup of the family started. Right. The socio-economic mm. side just yes. mm. went down. How is Partia now? Today. I mean, we've just had recently, earlier this year, you had that big as asbestos. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in the freezing works, but uh, then again, we don't like referring back to the freezing works. Mm. It's gone. Mm. It's history. Mm. And every time you talk about that, the minds go back there again. We mm. need to move on. Mm. And so, whether it's fire or not, it just happened. Mm. Uh, but, you know, but it's been great for us because that brought us back. Yeah. We had a bit yeah. of a meeting with our co to John Hiramaya. Yeah. And we said, well, well, we can't get any further than being in the gutter. What do we do now? So he suggested the best thing we do, mm. we're good at, is singing. Mm. And yeah, so Dalvanius heard about us from the Asia where we were touring. So he came home. Mm. And then when he heard what we our strife, he went over to Ngoi Ngoi. And between the two of them, that's they picked us up fantastically. i tell you what, the sound you make is just <coughs> superb. It's just, it doesn't, mm. it doesn't it bring shadows. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> Thank you. Ka pai. Thanks.